Why isn't this running at 120 Hz? The latest September 2022 PS5 major system update enables support for 1440p up to 120 Hz for compatible displays. This video will walk you through on how to enable 1440p support and how to get 120 FPS for supported games. We'll also touch on HDMI version requirements. First thing, ensure your PS5 is updated and then head over to settings and then screen and video. Then select test 1440p output. This will run you through the setup steps that will determine all the available modes the display supports. Walk through each prompt so that the PS5 can test out all the different video output modes, including 60Hz and 120Hz for both SDR and HDR content. Now if you head to video output information, you will see the current output mode listed. In most cases, you should see 2560 by 1440 at 60Hz. So why isn't this running at 120Hz yet as this display supports it? Well, the PS5 is actually really smart as it will automatically change the display refresh rate for compatible games when needed. Let's try out the NeoArt Collection Remastered for PS5 which supports 120fps. Start the game and then select the system option on the main menu. Then go to game mode settings and then change the mode to 120fps mode. Now if you press the PS button on your controller and then navigate to the screen and video settings, you should see the updated resolution and refresh rate to be 120Hz in the video output information screen. I'll throw a list of compatible 120fps games down in the description which should enable 120Hz if your 1440p display supports it. If you now switch over to another game like Gran Turismo 7 and then go back to the video output information, you will see the output is 60Hz. Unfortunately, it is up to the developers to support native 1440p in-game so you'll be getting a downsampled or downscaled 4K image. However, this means you get a much better image quality at the sweet spot 1440p resolution. All of this is really great, but the question is, do you need HDMI 2.1 to use this feature of 1440p at 120Hz? I tested all of this on my Dell 27 inch gaming monitor, which supports native 1440p up to 144Hz via HDMI 2.0. So no, you don't need HDMI 2.1 displays to enjoy high refresh and resolution gaming on your PS5.